Let the name of the Lord Jesus Christ be glorified in this blessed time. Once again, I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Indeed, it's our honor and privilege to come before the Lord once again and to learn God's scripture. Today, I have a short meditation and message for you from Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 20, verses 1 to 17. Please stay tuned. My meditation for you is entitled as God's Justice versus Human Justice or the difference between God's logic and human logic. Uh, there is a company, a big company. The company is in need of employees. The manager asked the PRO to make an announcement to get more employees. So they started the procedure of getting employees. They have conducted interview after getting so many applications. At the interview, some are chosen and some are rejected. And uh, those who have received the job started to work. But after some time, the company manager has again found they are in need of some more employees. So they have again made an interview with an applications. Some are selected and some are rejected. After a few days, the company is in need of some more employees. So they have given advertisement and many people applied with their curriculum vitae. So the interview time, many have come based on their criteria. Some are selected and some are rejected. Keeping this story in your mind, let us turn to the scripture portion, which is said now, that is gospel according to Matthew, chapter 20, verses 17. And this is a parable. It's a kingdom parable. And this parable is very much familiar to uh, many people. And uh, they, they need, a master needs servants in his vineyard. So three times, according to in, um, English calendar, uh, you know, the timing of the work is nine to six. So three times, the master of the vineyard asked the servants to go and get the workers. So three different times, they went and they have called the people and asked them to work in their field. At the evening, all of them were waiting for their salary. And at last, Five o'clock, people joined for the work are called first. So they got one denarius. So likewise, all of them have received the same salary. The same salary. The one who worked from the morning and worked only one hour have received the same salary. And the workers who work hard from the morning, they started to murmur against the master of the vineyard. And they grumbled at the master of the house, saying that this last worked only one hour and you have made them equal to us who have Born the burden of the day and the scorching heat. So according to the system of the world, it is not logic. It is not justice. That's true. 
But here, the master of the vineyard is depicted as God of heaven, God of the people. He is seeing everybody as equal. God who have called every one of you. God who, you know, loving people equally. And what happened here? What is the reason the master gave them equal salary? I was so curious about it when I read this passage. Then God catches my attention to chapter 20 verse 7. The answer is there. They said to him, because no one has hired us. No one has hired us. And these people have ready, they have applied for the job when the time, the first team have applied. So they have done everything. But nobody was hired them. They were rejected. They were completely rejected. And God is always looking at the people who is in need. The last group applied job like the first one. They are actually they are equal because the last group also there from the beginning itself. And according to the Judean community, before the sunset, the salary must be given. And this Judean community are daily workers. They are depending upon the daily wages. The children, family, parents, all are waiting for their daily wages. And God wants to see the people who are in need of their life. That's the reason the master is showing equality or giving salary equally. People who are listening to me today, thinking that you are rejected, and nobody is hiring you, you are jobless, but word of God says, God loves you and he is able to meet your needs according to his riches in glory. Thank you very much. God bless you all.